Buzz TV. Fun day, web of you day. We're all the way on the other side of the world. We're somewhere in Sweden. We got a hold of our friend Magnus. Hey, Magnus, how are you doing today? Hello, I'm great. How are you? Oh, life's really, really good. Now, uh, being on the other side of the world, let me ask you a question. It's noon here. What time is it there? It's uh, 9 p.m. Oh, good. Then it's prime drinking time in your end of the world. So, uh, yeah, I started here. So. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I figured that was going on. So let's just start this thing off and let's have some fun. The band has a new album out, correct? Yeah, uh, my solo project, Freefall, yeah. Let's talk about this thing. Um, Freefall's out and it is your solo project. What is this album basically going to give us? Is it something that might be uh, telling a story? Is it more of just something you've been working on through the years and just had a bunch of stuff around and you had to finish it up? Or is this... Oh, it's, a, it's a collection of great singers, you know, and I write the songs uh, for the singers. I have, you know, Jordan Turner and Tony Martin and other great guys and also great girls singing. And it's not any you know, old songs or anything. I, I write them. When, when I know that I got to sing on an album, I, I write a new song for them and try to write the perfect song. Yeah, so it's a bunch of great songs for great singers. And, and well, here's a question. How are you lucky enough to get these people? Um, I, you know, you have some great names that you're working with and it's just amazing how, you know, you pull all these people in and, and are able to do an album like this. Yeah, I'm lucky to be at the record label um, uh, Frontiers Records, and they have a lot of great artists, and uh, they have all the email addresses. So, <laughs> and then uh, when I ask you sing it, of course they have to like the song, and uh, you know, so but, so it's a bit tricky, but I made it. <laughs> Very, and it's a great album. I mean, we were lucky enough and get get a copy from a friend of ours, and it's something I Thank picked up, much. and it's. You know, let's just say there's tracks on my playlist now, which, okay. you know, it's a great thing, and I love that. For you as an artist doing something like this, is this a project do you think that'll ever tour by any chance, or is this uh, one of those that you're able to do just for the love of it? Yeah, it's hard to make a tour with this because of all the singers. Maybe I could do something with a couple of the singers, like uh, Avantasia, you know, or something like that, but hopefully, I want to do it. So let's see. I mean, it would be a fun night, and I could understand trying to get all those bodies in, in one building, considering they're all over the place as well. Now, besides your solo stuff... It's impossible. Well, that's true. It, it pretty much is, unless it's an award show and you get them all backstage at the same time. Um, yeah. About your career, besides the solo stuff, what other stuff can we uh, see you doing? Uh, I'm just, uh, we, we're just done with the next Primal Fear album, and uh, it's, uh, we have a release early next year, and uh, yeah, then I'm working on uh, a new Starbreaker with Tony Hanel, uh, that sings in the Skid Row now, and uh, also I'm working with my bandmate uh, Matt Sinner, with his own uh, band, uh, Sinner, more Thin Lizzy vibe, so it's different styles, and you know, oh, it <laughs> I like to work with, uh, not to do the same all, all the time. Well, you know, it, it's fun to be able to be diverse and jump around, be, you know, and as a guitar player, you know, for me, there's days where it's really heavy and it's really loud, and there's other days where I just have that blues thing going. So, for you, I could really see where it's fun, where you're able to jump around and do some things and then, you know, dive back in your normal stuff and, and go from there. Now, is there a... Coming up, the New Year's here. What are we doing uh, tour-wise? We going to see you out on the road soon? Yeah, that's the thing. It's going very well for Prime Fear, and the tour is, tours are just getting longer and longer. And so I, I can't tour at the mo moment because I have the uh, kids at home, and uh, so I'm not doing a lot of touring. But uh, the band will tour a lot this year. I understand that. As a dad, I definitely understand having kids, and you know what? At certain ages, you really need to be there because you can't get it back, and it's so important. Um, yeah, I don't have a choice, and, and the band is really nice to me. You know, they they, they have a, another guy that can play live, and 
So when, when I will uh, come back, we will be three guitar players on stage. <laughs> it will be great. And that's going to be a triple axe attack, so there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Now, the, the new album, and as I said, your solo album, where can we find that thing? Is that going to be the normal uh, iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby, or is it going to be specific locations to pick this up? No, it's everywhere. I think it's everywhere. Yeah. Even the record store. If you, you can find the record store nowadays. <laughs> yeah, here in the States, there, there's not too many. You have to go into uh, some kind of like a Walmart or Target or a big uh, box store. That, but, they do yeah. sell, but they do sell hard copies. Hey, here's a question. Is this thing going to be released in any uh, capacity on vinyl? No, uh, I wanted to do it, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it didn't work out with the record label. They, they didn't want to do it yet. Maybe they do it afterwards. I don't know. Well, that's a you, you know, it's just here in the states. There's like a real big vibe and a comeback for vinyl. So a lot of people are yeah. doing that. And, the same. Yeah. That's great because I love vinyl. I mean, you, yeah, it's. Me too. I mean, digital's a great way to easily give you a copy, but for that good old warm, just mm, sound, it's vinyl. Yeah. And then tubes in your amp. You know, hate, <laughs> that, hate that solid state, state stuff. Now, uh, for you guys that want to get that album, there'll be a link right down here. So if you're watching us on the free app, the iPhone, the Android thing, go over to the website. We'll have links. You can get right over to uh, pick up that album. We'll have links to Magnus' site so you can get over to him on his stuff. Maybe shoot him a message on Facebook. Don't blow him up because like, no one likes to spend five hours answering email. I've done it today. Um, it just makes you crazy. Endorsements and sponsorships. Who are you sponsored by? Let's give some people some love. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually buy my stuff. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, I get some. Uh, I'm using ESP guitars and I... Uh, yeah, I have a deal that I, I, I got a really nice price with some uh, nice guitars. I can show you here. Yeah, let's uh, see that because we just... Uh, uh, Eclipse. Oh, I don't know if you see it. Yes, I do. Now I see it's that lovely red uh, Les Paul type yeah, body. I have different colors, but uh, this is the one I use on the album. <laughs> Very nice. Now our friends, yeah, we were just uh, with the uh, Loudness guys. So we were lucky enough to... Uh, you know, talk with the cure, and you know him with uh, the ESP stuff as well. So, you know, man. In fact, we're going to be at NAM next month. We'll make okay. we'll make sure we talk to the ESP guys and uh, mention Magnus and say, hey, uh, you saw some of that stuff you uh, hooked him up with. You know, maybe yeah. maybe <laughs> with a, maybe with a little luck, the next one will be free. Um, yeah. Because that's how it's supposed to be. And let's see. Yeah. I'm looking at your amps behind you. So I'm definitely going to make sure that they get some love, too. So hopefully when they see it, they go, yeah. hey, Magnus is using our stuff and he loves us type things. So we definitely want to throw that in there. Hey, question for you. We have this fun little game. It's okay. called Roll the Bones. Here's your camera. I have 20 pre-selected questions and a 20-sided dice. Mm -hmm. I think three or four questions even deal with music. Okay. <laughs> you, up, you up for playing around? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, your lovely... Sorry, that was in the corner. Your lovely number is nine. What drew you to your instrument? You got one of the three questions that deal with music. What? Sorry. I, I the, quest, you. the question was, what drew you to your instrument? Why do you play guitar versus anything else? Oh, that was a strange... Thing because uh, I, I, when I was a kid I played organ and uh, when I started uh, wanted to start music music school they didn't have a teacher for organs and, uh, and they, they asked me if I wanted to play violin and I said ah oh, no I try guitar instead and uh, yeah that's how it started. Oh well, that's a very cool thing and look how it paid off. I mean you're a smoking player so it was definitely meant to be. Yeah and no, I love it. It's, it's you, you know but then again I wonder what would. Magnus keyboards sound like. <laughs> yeah, I, I play a lot of keyboards still. I do it on the album, but uh, I'm not that good. <laughs> that's that's like me. I play very minor keyboard parts. You know what I've actually learned to do and cheat? I play guitar synth. So I uh -huh. use the rolling guitar synth, and I can play keyboard parts on my guitar. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I'm very good at that, so it works. Okay, I'm going to roll my lovely question, and I got the lovely number five. 
Worst tour story. Okay, I'll go with this one. I'm out with a bunch of male strippers doing lighting for them. And um, besides the 12 hours of traveling, we get to this place in the middle of nowhere, and it got so bad from the girls hounding these male strippers, we had to escape from a window on the second floor to just get away from these people. They were hiding behind pillars. One guy even, somehow some girl got keys to his room and like was in his bed waiting for, it was wild, this place. Um, <laughs> but it was like, I don't know what happened, but that was my ugliest, worst tour story. We, in what band? This wasn't a band. I was the lighting designer for a uh -huh. pack of male strippers. Uh huh. Okay. So I had nine male strippers and about 900 girls that just had to get to them that night. We were in the middle of Oregon, no, I mean, nowhere near a city. And anywhere, you'd open your door, they're hiding behind pillars, behind corners, worse than any time I've been with the band. Um, and as I said, somehow one girl got keys to a guy's room, was in his bed waiting for him. Um, me and four of the guys had to climb out of a window on a second floor, second story, just to get away. We couldn't leave through the front. We couldn't go out the room. Um, so, sounds like a dream. Um, as you know, most people say, "Oh God, a bunch of girls." Believe me, it it does get a little too crazy at times. <laughs> so here's the last question, but the most important question in any interview: What might we have left out? that you need to let them know either about Magnus or Primal Fear or any of this other solo stuff you're doing? Yeah, uh, there's a lot. <laughs> so it's hard to know what to tell, but uh, I, I really hope you will check out uh, the Primal album and uh, also uh, the Primal Fear coming up. I, I'm really pr proud of over those two. Well, you know, the Free Fall album, again, it's a great CD. The, the variety of vocalists you were able to get on this and just the areas that it touches because it, it's something that's that's a great album but it's not you know it's it's kind of and it's a weird way to put it all over the place because you have so many great singers so you're yeah. able to touch so many different areas you really got to give this a listen to we're going to talk to Magnus later We'll make sure that we'll get a track off it. We'll find out the right track. We'll make sure that's Artist of the Week. Get that in the credits of the show. Make it, put it on the site. This way you'll get a taste of it. But go check it out. Once you click listen to any of those tracks, we know that buy button's right after it. And then, hell, might be your ringtone. Because <laughs> um, I do that all the time. So, Magnus, I appreciate the time. I know it's after 9, so it's perfect drinking hours for you. It's noon, so I think it's time for a sandwich for me. Um, but I really <laughs> there you go. I really appreciate appreciate you taking the time with us, um, and for us, for Magnus Carlson, for all the fun stuff he does. Remember, catch that Free Fall album. If you're lucky enough, you might catch the Primal guys. But he's doing stuff all over the place. So we're gonna have links that you can get right to him. Learn about everything that he's doing. A great guy, and if you're lucky, really lucky. You might get to see three guitar players on stage with a certain band somewhere down the road. Um, we'll love to catch that, too. Again, thank you, Magnus. For B-Rad, Magnus, Buzz TV, from his part of the world and our part of the world, we're out of here, guys. See ya. Cheers from Sweden. B-Rad here, Buzz TV. Fun day, doing another web of you. In fact, let me get out of... There we go, now I'm out of your way. So we're here doing another web review. We caught Shannon from Order of the Elijah here. Fun, fun band. We got a copy of that new uh, album. Buddy of ours let us listen to it. It's fucking brutal, my friend. We love this thing. That's it. Now, uh, yeah. I mean, it's heavy. It's brutal. Tell me a little about it. We know it's dropping real soon in January. Um, it's, uh... It's our sophomore album, really. Uh, we have probably been working on most of the songs over a course of the past year. Uh, after we released The Throne um, in 2013, we, uh, we toured around on that for about a year. And then uh, some, some stuff happened in our lives here and there. So yeah, we just had to 
kind of back off touring and we just focused on writing this album, but it, it gave us a chance to really build a set down. And, and since it's our, our second time around, uh, we, I, I could tell that, you know, that each musician had kind of matured in their writing style and stuff like that. So um, I'm really excited for this album to, to release. Uh, it's been a big buildup. And so it, it's, it's very uh, anticipating times for me. Now, if I'm correct, and I might be wrong, is the release date January 8th or the 6th? 8th. 8th. And you guys uh, start bouncing around touring this thing January 1st, from what I see, correct? Yep. Now, um, I see limited dates, but at the very bottom I also see to be announced, so I'm hoping there's going to be more dates going farther west than Texas. Um, possibly in the mix. Uh, yeah, we, we're going to be uh, probably uh, lining out a tour over to Cali uh, sometime early next year, and we're intending on hitting a lot of stuff over there. It's just, uh, it's really treacherous over going over towards Colorado and stuff whenever you're, um, whenever you're pulling the trailer and those roads just get crazy over there. Uh, so uh, I've always heard that like shows over by Denver in the winter do great because none of the bands... No bands want to travel out there. Um, yeah, it is a pretty uh, scary drive, I'd say. Um, we've had some friends that had some great trips, and we've had some other friends that have hit some ice and uh, seen some pictures, and uh, then the next thing was a GoFundMe account. Um, right. And so we definitely yeah, don't want to have that happen to you guys. But, we, you know, for us, um, we have cities shooting all over the country, so if we don't get you out west, we have, uh, I think, the farthest east. We have a Boston team, and we have a Detroit team. So hopefully we'll catch you guys there soon. But on top of all that stuff, who's not with us today? Because I have Shannon here, and you're the vocalist, but let's give the rest of the guys some love. Um, we've got uh, Josh Newland. He's our drummer. Uh, we've got... Brian Cox, he's our original guitar player. He's been here. Me and him found a fan. And then you've got Mike Lee. Mike Lee Fedora, I've known that boy for so long. Um, and he is uh, hes an extremely good guitarist. And he just gets better all the time. And then uh, we've got our newcomer, or he's not new anymore, uh, <laughs> James Copley. He's, uh, yeah, he's yeah, I, I can honestly say he's the best bass player I've ever written with. And uh, I, we're really excited to have him part of this album. He recorded uh, on every track, and uh, and you can you can definitely tell that in the music. If you listen to The Throne or any of the other stuff, you can look back and you can see we didn't have as much bass work really going on, and he's really went out of his way to put his official stamp on it. It's really nice. Um and the band seems really, really tight. Again, listening to that album, it's so brutal, and you guys are just seem like you're so in unison on this. Is uh, with the name of the band, the Order of the Elijah. Is there any subtext or sub uh, sub uh, meaning to this? Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually one of the most commonly asked questions. Well, whenever we came up with the name, uh, me and Brian were just tossing around names. For some reason, we were naming it uh, um, after the prophet Elijah that took all the priests up on top of a mountain and uh, proved them all wrong and then killed them. And, uh, and so we were, we were going through like the whisper of Elijah. And, uh, we had all different types of And Brian spit out the order of Elijah and it, it won. Well, it sounds like Elijah was pretty much just an early uh, version of Penn and Teller, right? You know? Debunk and I'm only Penn and Teller don't go around killing guys, but uh, they definitely publicly debunk them. That is true. I love Penn and Teller, man. Well, when I we get Penn videos all the time. Oh uh, well, if you guys ever get out this way to Vegas, with a little luck and you have some time, we'll definitely hook up and I'll make sure we get you and the band on a guest list to uh, the show, and we'll make sure you have a meet and greet with the guys. They're good okay. friends. Well, they're great friends of ours, but they're just amazing people in general. The nicest guys you'll ever meet. Um, People that have been in that business as long as them and have uh, reached the status they have, have no egos. So it's so, so cool. They're just the greatest. Oh, who's this? This is my daughter, Zoe. Hey, Zoe. Say hi to everybody. Hey, hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. 
Hey, Zoe, we have a question just for you. What's it like to have a famous daddy? Daddy's my princess. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to say. Well, you know what? That'll work. She. Hey, let me get. Daddy's princess. Me. Yes, you. So what is she? About two, three? She's three. Three. See, I had one that was that little. Oh, you got lots of princesses on today too. I like princesses. Yeah, she's all about it. Oh, uh, mine was too. Here's one for you guys. Anyone in the band, you guys sponsored by anyone that we want to give some love to? Uh, yeah. Uh, we're sponsored by CXXII Apparel. They have been, uh, they've been helping us out. They're sponsoring this entire tour. Oh, great guys. Uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. Um, let me see. Uh, we've got Cold Cock Whiskey now. They're sponsoring the tour. We've got uh, Twisted Vape and Lounge sponsoring the tour. Uh, Dean Markley uh, sponsors the boys' streams. Um, and it seems like I'm leaving someone out. I know we got the local Budweiser sponsor here, too, whenever we play bars around here. But Oh, that's, that's a cool thing, man. Sponsor, so. You know, and you guys are getting there now. Uh, with the new album, and it drops normal places that we could pick this up, Amazon, uh, iTunes, CD Baby, that sort of stuff. Yeah, you can get it... Uh, everywhere right now you can get it in japan and australia uh they've got um different links for uh different languages um i i know that um best buy and uh, target just got uh pre-order uh bulks so very cool uh, after january 8th uh at um uh, select locations you'll be able to pick up the album you know at best buy or target uh and uh of course, you know, you can get it on iTunes and, and all that kind of stuff, too. Google Play. Now, we'll have links to all that right down here. So, again, if you're watching from the uh, iPhone or Android app, get over to the Buzz TV site. Click the link. We'll get you over to their website. Um, we'll make sure we have links to the uh, iTunes store and stuff. Now, speaking of the website, is there going to be a link to buy this off the website? Yeah. Um, Perfect. Right now, it's, it's on Victory Merch. Uh, victorymerch.com um, we've got a couple really awesome bundles up right now you can get a new uh, t-shirt and a CD for a discount price and you can also order a hoodie and a CD and uh, get that at a discount price too uh, the, the shirts are pretty sweet uh, it's kind of like got this Star Wars uh, dark side theme going for it and then uh, the hoodies are just great material I, this is the the highest quality hoodie we've ever really put out and uh it's just re really good apparel man very good then we'll definitely have to check that one out ourselves now let's just make sure we have this right so they have it the website is uh just go to luxor records uh luxor-records.com or victorymerch.com uh, um we're on all the social networks uh we have a the order of Elijah.com, but it's suspended right now for uh, construction and stuff like that. We got a dude putting together a total new revamp site, and uh, that should hopefully be up around the time the album drops. Perfect. I know how that goes when you're rebuilding sites. I think one of ours needs a mass rebuild. I'm just afraid to even start because um, I know how ugly that gets. So let's uh, make sure we plug this right. The first day of the tour is January 1st. Where? Uh, it's going to be in Fayetteville, Arkansas uh, at Nomads. Uh, so, there's, uh, uh, there's some really cool bands playing with it from around there in Fayetteville to Leona's Last Breath. And I believe Portraits is going to be there too. So I'd say make sure if you're in that area on New Year's, you definitely have somewhere to go because if you miss this, you're just going to miss the band that's just going to rip your face off. Um, now, as I said, this thing's starting out around there. It's slowly heading towards the west. Uh, if we get up, uh, you get up on their Facebook site, we'll have a link down here again, the order of the Elijah. You'll see the limited dates now as they're booking out the rest of the tour. The album drops early January. We've heard it. After the album drops, we'll make sure we put a track on it. We'll make sure you guys are Artist of the Week. 
get you in the credits of one of the upcoming shows. But again, we don't want to release anything before it's ready to be released. So after the 8th, you'll hear some of it on our site. Pop them links down there. Now let's see, we usually end this with two last questions. So we'll start with one of those two. And this is why I needed those 20 questions. We have a little game here called Roll the Bones. I have 20 pre-selected questions and a 20-sided dice. <laughs> I think three or four of these questions actually deal with music. Um, you up for playing around? Yeah, let's do it, man. Cool. I, I, like, I like random, spontaneous stuff like that. Cool. Well, you got number 14, and number 14 today has been been to jail, yes or no? Hang on, do what? Been to jail, yes or no? Yes, I have been to jail. Well, well I have too, so it's not... I, I think nowadays, it's a rarity if you haven't been there once or twice. Hey, Zoe, I want you to go watch Barbie or I'm going to turn it off. All right, go watch the puppies. Here, bring your sucker. Well, then I want the sucker. If you don't want it, suckers are good. <laughs> okay, I will take my lovely spin, and I got the lovely 13. Biggest pet peeve, that's simple. I don't deal well with stupid. Um, that's probably my biggest pet peeve. If you're a little slow, that's fine. But when you just pull something that's really stupid, I have a problem dealing with that. Um, but that's me. Now, here's the most important question of any interview. What might we have left out about the Order of the Elijah that they need to know? Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot to, that's going to be said inside this heap. Um, and uh, uh, if, you, if you get it, you're going and, and gonna to realize that it's not bright and happy. You know, uh, it, it, was, it was written in some really dark times, and... Uh, and I mean, it just hints the, the term war at heart. And um, I think that a lot of people are gonna, a lot of people are gonna be disappointed with uh, the new, the the new aspect because uh, I felt like the throne was a lot more of a happier, uplifting, like go get them, you know, like you can do it, just stand tall. And uh, you know, every band's doing that. Every 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 like metalcore band and stuff is, you know. Um, you know, and, and, and that's good, positive energy. But, you know, sometimes people go through some stupid shit. And, uh, and, and I feel like you can't just sit there and lie to people all the time and act like, you know, you're pretend, pretending to know things you don't know. You know, it's like, and uh, so I just try to approach some of those realities, uh, try to approach some, uh, some mythical crap that I think that uh, society holds on to a little bit too much. And, um, and uh, I don't know. I, then there's a song about my daughter in there, too, as you've been seeing her. <laughs> well, you know what it is. I mean, for me, I know a lot of times things are really cathartic, as in you write from where you are. And if it's a good place, something's good and happy. And if you're in a bad place, you write about that. And for me, it, it, it just helps get things out. Um, from a guitar player's point of view, you'll definitely hear it in certain things. I mean, you could hear certain things are a lot more aggressive and heavy at times versus some things are more fun and poppy and uplifting. And there's nothing wrong with that. And if the fans, you know, are, are just going to look at it as this is just a different flavor that the band puts out. And if you're lucky enough to be one of those artists that have a long, long life and long longevity, you're going to put out 10, 12, 15 albums. And I don't want any of my two albums to sound the same. Um, Oh, yeah. You know, and that's the biggest thing. And if you were honest, and this is where you guys came from at that point in time, the fans are going to love it just like they love everything else because, you know, let's be honest, life is one thing. It goes in circles. Remember that squirt gun thing we were talking about? Oh, you squirt your cat? Yep, had one right. Yeah, one walk by a camera on us there. For some reason, when I'm filming, they decide, hey, look at my ass, look at my ass. Um, <laughs> which is kind of scary right there at that to say, you know, what my animals are thinking. Um, so I know they're going to love this thing. You know, for us, we heard it. It's brutal. We really like the, you know, the album. We wouldn't say it if we didn't. We'd just gloss over of, hey, they got an album coming out. But this is something you guys need to check out. As soon as you hear it, I know there's tracks that are going right in your playlist because there's tracks that are already in ours. I guess the best thing to do is thank you for your time. 
January's coming, guys. The Order of the Elijah's hitting the road. You find them when they come to your town. You make sure you see them. And soon enough, we're going to have them on Buzz TV in HD, 3D, and 4K. So you'll get a taste. And we'll plant that hook. But when they come to your town, you definitely hit them up. Shannon, I appreciate everything. Yeah, um, I appreciate everything, man. It's been a great interview. Sorry about the daughter interference. Oh, you know what? It's giving you a little bit more of an interesting answer on the jail stuff, but perhaps we should leave it under wraps as, as well. As I said, we don't need the story of why you went there. It was just have you ever been or not. Um, you know, everyone has an interesting story. Some days we'll get into it. That'll be a personal time when we're having drinks. Um, there you go. I love the daughter coming in because it just shows how real you are. Um, and that's the thing. I love, you know... Hey, I love kids. The only thing that, that bummed me out a little was yours is three and mine's 24. And I keep saying, could you be four again? Because when you're four, I see you. 24, I get a phone call every so often. Oh, I bet. Man. And she lives 10 minutes from my house, if not less. So it just cracks me up, really. Um, but that's part of life. I know I never saw my parents in my 20s. So I can't hold it to her. But I didn't I, either. You know, but enjoy this time because you're going to miss it in January. For now, we're going to run for Shannon. For Buzz TV, for the Order of the Elijah, we're out of here, guys. See ya.